Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of OptionSource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Well, hi there and welcome to the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for July 5th, 2011. As always, this is Jason Ayers of OptionSource.net. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index. This is a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. Starting off with a weekly chart, we can see here that the dollar index lost considerable ground last week. We're tracing back down into the 74.75 focal zone. Now, we should see a bounce this week after such a drop. However, the 76.77 focal zone remains a key overhead resistance. A break below 74 opens the window for continued U.S. dollar weakness. Let's take a quick look at a daily chart where we can see that the 74 level represents a near-term term support with 75 acting as short-term resistance. Next up, the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. Well, the CDD spent last week erasing two months of gains, testing down at this 96 support. Now, we should see a bounce this week with a possible retracement back up towards this 97 level. However, 98, once again, gain assumes a role of resistance. Let's take a look at the YUK, the U.S. versus the Japanese yen. Well, the YUK is consolidating just below the resistance level to 81, and a break of which opens the window for a push higher. A break below 80.5 is likely to open the window for a test of the 79.5, 80 level for support once again. Let's take a look at the EUI, the U.S. dollar versus the euro. Well, the EUI failed to break above the 70-71 resistance level. We now find the EUI back down, testing the support level at 68.69 after a break of uh, the pivot point at 70. Now, we should see a bounce this week after such a significant drop, which uh, would retest 74 resistance. Next up, the BPX, the U.S. versus the British pound. Well, the BPX appears to be forming a bull flag as it consolidates just below the 62.5-63 focal zone. We could see a retracement down to test 62. However, a break above 63 uh, should signal a continuation higher. Let's take a look at the U.S. versus the Australian dollar as seen here in the ISC FX options pair value AUX. Well, the AUX uh, slipped back to test this 93 support level. Uh, this level should hold as support with a bounce likely hitting resistance at this 94.95 focal zone. Ferry to hold 93 opens the window for a continuation lower. Let's take a quick look at some of our key points. First of all, the dollar index lost considerable ground last week, slipping below the 75 support level. We should see retracement higher. However, the next key support sits at 74. The CDD drops to a low of 96 last week. This level should act as support for a bounce after such a significant drop. The YUK is testing resistance at 81. A break above 81 opens the window for a push, push higher. A break below 80.5 is likely to retest the 79.80 focal zone for support. The EUI fell back down to test the 68.69 focal zone for support. We are likely to see a bounce higher after last week's drop. The BPX appears to be consolidating into a bull flag. A break above 63 should signal a continuation higher. The AUX pulled back to test support at 93. We should see bounce to the upside after last week's drop. And this has been your ISE FX Options Weekly Outlook for July 5th, 2011. As always, this is Jason Ayers reminding you to sign up for your free webinar at www.optionsource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an Optionsource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.